Hello, in this Java tutorial we're going to learn about the error, cannot find symbol, and how to fix it. The error cannot find symbol is when a variable or method is unable to be located. So we're going to look at a couple causes of that. So here we have a block of code, and in this case it's a spelling error. So we declared int my height equals 50. Then on line 7 we see my height except the M is capitalized here and lowercase here, and since Java is case sensitive, this is considered a different spelling. Another mistake people sometimes make is they transpose a couple of letters. So you can see in height, the I and E here are reversed. Sometimes it can be hard to find a spelling error because you see what you're looking for instead of what's actually there. It's sometimes worth copying and pasting a variable name that way you know it'll be exactly the same in both places. So we'll fix that and now these lines of code will work. In this case we're going to get a cannot find symbol error on line 5. We're attempting to call another method but there is no method called another method in the cannot find symbol class. So we're going to have to write the method and put it into the class and now we can call another method. Here's another example of a missing method. So we're creating a variable string x and having it point at a new string object. Then we're trying to call the do something method from the object that x is pointing at. The string class does not have a method called do something. Therefore, on line 7, we're going to get a cannot find symbol error. To resolve this, we would need to have it say x dot and then the name of an actual method that is part of the string class. Here we have an issue with scope. Scope is where a variable is accessible in a computer program. To learn all the ins and outs of scope and lifetime of variables, please click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So here on line 5, we're in the main method, we're declaring int x equals 3, then we're calling another method print value. Now, x is declared inside a method, so that means it's a local variable, and it's only valid from line 5 to the end of this method inside the main method. So now we go to print value, and we're trying to access this x, but the x is out of scope, and it won't come back into scope until we finish the call to print value and return to the main method. There's several ways we can fix this. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a parameter int x. So I'm going to pass the value, in this case 3, to this parameter x, and then here I am accessing the parameter x instead of the local variable x. Lifetime is where a variable is created and destroyed in a program. So here we have a for loop, and then inside the brackets we declare and initialize a new variable y, and then we increment it by 1. Now every time we get to the end of the brackets, we destroy y. Since it was declared inside the brackets, it gets destroyed at the end of the brackets. So in this case, since this loop goes through five times, y is going to be created and destroyed five times over the course of this loop. Now here on line 13, we're going to have a cannot find symbol error because y has already been destroyed, so we can't access it anymore. How we can fix this is we can declare y up on line 5. So now y will be accessible up until line 14 when it's destroyed after the main method is done running. So those are the common causes and solutions to the cannot find symbol error. If you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. To see the complete Java tutorials click on the video link in the lower right hand corner of the screen and make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get all the latest content.